It's Friday, that means it's time to talk about some of my favorite photos that I photographed this week. And Monday is another example of how important it is to simply explore with no agenda at all. I don't know why I was in Buzzards Bay, but I was. <laughs> and lo and behold, I noticed that they were up on the bell tower at uh, Mass Maritime. Which you've never, if you've never been to Mass Maritime, it's really cool. It's right at the mouth of the canal. And then, of course, once you establish that, this is something interesting, what vantage point is best? Is it north to south? Is it east to west? Where is the sun? And basically, it's just a waiting game. I mean, this guy was walking around for quite a while, and then I noticed that this guy was walking up, but there was a, it was just a matter of patience and letting it happen. Um, Tuesday, you know, not everything has to be hardcore. Sometimes you just have to have fun. And I noticed this older gentleman, and he's walking hand in hand with this little guy. And this little guy was a handful, literally. And I think that kind of portrays what handful means. And it was just that moment. He could, like, the older gentleman could barely, like, reach over and get him. And he's, like, trying hard to go for that edge. But again, it's, it's simply not a, um, a matter of capturing that. It's, it's a, a, the context. You notice how the two chimneys subdivide the frame equally. Those little things are subliminal to making the photograph work. The next day, okay, here's an interesting photo, an interesting story about this particular photograph. I sit down for breakfast at Scramblers in Fairhaven. An older woman sitting next to me, she says, I know who you are. I love your photographs, but you know what I'd really like to see, Peter? I'd love to see photos of flowers because the weather's been so bad. So I'm like, well, thank you so much for the compliments, and off I go on my way. I end up back in Wareham, and guess what? I see a landscape, you know, place. It was called Nasrallah's Farm. And I'm like, you know, this woman's got her point. Maybe I should go looking for flowers. I walk inside, and this is what I run into. Um, you see something, you react. It's not simply good enough to just stand there. So when I shot this picture, I'm actually on my back, actually pointing completely backwards. He has no idea what's going on. He probably thinks I'm trying to wipe the floor with my back or something. I don't know. But again, the symmetry of the photograph and the way he's placed and how he's putting the drip lines is what makes the photograph work. Same exact thing. Now this photograph, you're going to watch this video where I explain to you how I took this picture and how I ended up there. Good morning. Maybe because it was 15 degrees outside, I don't know why, but this is how it operates, you see. Once in a while, I just decide to go either left instead of right. And this morning, I decided to turn left, in this case, into the Whaling Museum. Maybe it was because I just wanted to warm up. I'm not quite sure. But what do I see? Well, the beauty of discovery is if you don't walk in, you'll never know what you're going to discover. So that's uh, Jordan ben Burson over there. Hey, how are you? Great, how are you? What, what am I looking at? You're looking at Currington and Russell's 1848 Grand Panorama of a whaling voyage around the world. It was painted over the course of that one year and it is uh, a documentary of what whalers would experience on an actual whaling voyage. How long is this thing? It looks huge. This is thought to be the longest painting in the world. Piece of original art that is, and it uh, is 1,275 feet long, which is longer than the Empire State Building is tall. Uh, I don't know if you heard that. It's longer than the Empire State Building is tall. Wow, that's pretty big. I guess it's bigger than the coronation of Napoleon at the Louvre. This thing is big. So, uh, what, what are you doing, Jordan? Today we're spraying the panorama with a very dilute adhesive and the point of the spraying is to prevent the paint, which is on a very flexible substrate, cotton sheeting, from falling off onto the floor when we roll it. This type of a painting was not meant to hang on the wall like your traditional painting. This was meant to be shown like a movie in front of an audience, so it would have been upright on two drums and scrolled across the stage with a uh, lively narration by a generally salty character. So this is what I walk into. Uh, can't really go wrong, especially when you look around and what do you see? Oh, 
you see Mr. Burson over there doing his thing and then if you look straight up oh look you can walk up there so where do you think I took the photo from And today, I just got back a little while ago, I went to the brand new Amazon Fulfillment Center in Fall River, and um, I took a really quick tour of a very, very large place. It's actually one million square feet of, of space, so you can imagine uh, the possibilities, but we, they don't want us walking around forever. So I had like 20 minutes of, uh, you, know, cap, you know, capturing interesting images. And, one of the things that I think sometimes we don't take advantage of is the idea that, yes, the camera freezes time, but does it have to freeze all of time in a s split second? No. Sometimes you can drag time and you can capture a, an, an, an amount of time, not just a single quanta of time. And that's what I did here to, to try to show the, not, not look at the happiness on this guy. Maybe he's happy that he's got a job, but it's also the motion that, that shows you how much activity is happening in this place. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again next week.